What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. So on the vlog today, I've got a special guest, Danielle, who Hi. is a stylist here at Salon Gratitude. And we are gonna go over some highlighting techniques. The thing I love about today's video is that uh, Danielle's gonna show you how to highlight with a sponge, correct? Yes. So um, that should be really fun for you guys. And also it's on extra curly hair. So you're gonna get a ton of knowledge on curly hair from Danielle and also sponge highlighting. Uh, so it's a pretty fun technique. Well, I really liked it because it just, it gets the maximum amount of highlighting with the least amount of work. So you're not sitting there trying to fight with the curls, combing through it or weaving and all of that. So you get a good dispersion of highlighting as well as her natural. So whether it's curly, blown out, it just works both ways. Sweet guys, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. We're gonna get started, here we go. Hey everybody, so today I chose to use Vero Blue from Joyco. I'm doing a one to one and a half ratio with their 30 volume developer. So mixing it to a really nice creamy consistency so that way it can work a little smoother. Now I'm just separating it into four basic quadrants just to keep everything a little easier to work with. Now I'm just zigzagging in a diagonal back section and cutting that section in half. Sections are pretty large just because with your curl pattern, it's a little blown out. The sponge is a sea sponge that soaks up a lot of products. You can see the little pitted edges. I start in the mid shaft and then work my way up. And then once I place my foil, I saturate so that way the underside and the mids get a little bit more saturation and lightness going through it. So pretty much like a basic balayage. And again, just splitting that in half with another zigzag. That way the hair has somewhere to lay and evenly disperses the highlight with the natural color. I also use the corner of my sponge just to feather it a little bit closer to the hairline without giving it a hard, harsh line. Danielle, would you say that the, there's a big difference between um, when you're coloring fine hair and coloring curly hair, taking more hair at a time when it's curly? I would say yes, just because then you have a little bit more cushion. You don't have to go all the way through to the bottom of the hair, and then that's where you get a little bit more of that spotting. Okay, so again, just placing my foils. I chose to use the foils just so that I can incubate the hair a little bit more and get it up to that orange yellow face. I also chose the blue lightener because you can see the color lightening a little bit better than if you had a, a white powder lightener. Okay, so again, using that corner just to shimmy that right up to the scalp. And I'm more of a repetitive motion kind of stylist, so that's why I like this technique. Because it's not like you have to change it from section to section. So it's really fast, really easy. Now, once you get to the top, you have the choice of whether you want to weave it just to make yourself a little bit more comfortable, or you can go in and do the same thing as I was, where you're just saturating that top piece and the mid shafts and ends totally up to you so we're going to process for about 25 minutes and as you can see here this is the view of both straight and curly so in danielle tone guys she used a level eight ash and then a dash of one in just to add a little bit of depth to it uh, on dry hair. I'm using the Joico Beat Shake, great texturizing product, gives a huge amount of shine to the hair and is really touchably soft. So thanks everybody and I hope you like the video. All right guys, so if you liked today's video, which I hope you did, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and um, check out freesaloneducation.com for more videos just like this. Oh, and wait, you gotta follow Danielle on Instagram. What's your Instagram? The Hands Downs. Go follow Danielle. She needs some more hair friends. Go find her on Instagram, <laughs> at the hands down. Thanks guys, we'll see you in the next video.
So in Danielle Tone, guys, she used a level 8 ash and then also a dash of 1N just to add a little bit of depth. 